What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. We all know that there are good cops, but we also know that most of them can help themselves into collecting revenue and harass civilians. From cops breaking the law and people's rights, ending up costing us millions of dollars in taxpayers' money, to idiot cops that try to abuse their power and get owned for it. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel to help these videos get out there to bring awareness to the public and help to end police misconduct. Now, today's videos come from Juicy Jane and David Finkel. So don't forget to visit their channel and show them your support because they deserve it. And now, let's move on to the videos. I'm gonna record this That's because you're recording. just violating my rights. Everything's being recorded right here. Like, there ain't no smoke or nothing smells like this. I don't know you're what you're doing. You're doing museum, which is completely fine, but I'm asking you to step out of the car for, uh, uh, for officer safety reasons at this point. And he doesn't want to. I've already, I've already labeled a case law, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania versus MIMS, requires me to, uh, allows me to actually pull everybody out of the car for officer safety reasons. And he's resisting at this point. And I already advised him that if he doesn't step out of the vehicle. But are you suspicioning me of any crime or anything? We That's didn't. That's not what I'm saying. Hey, so the, looks like the vehicle belongs to his mom, and she's here to take over. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to just step out for me. That's all. All right, can I okay. talk to the driver real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a chance I want to, talk to talk to him real quick before I hop out. Yeah, yeah. He's talking to my sergeant right now. I'll give you a chance to talk to him right now, okay? All right, well, let me talk to him when he when he's done, and then I'll Listen. hop out. Okay, step out of the car. Step out of the car. Is there anything I do to gain your compliance to step out of the car? No, bro, because you niggas always through me my entire life and I, I really don't want to I don't even know who you are you're probably new to the job then probably all right, but that's why I'm asking what your hey, name is so real quick dude we're not we're not trying to break anything not doing do anything weird stupid I just want you to just step out so we can figure this out okay that's all um, but I'm so not doing can, okay then talk to me just hear me out just talk to me out here then come on hold up and call him real quick hey Jason come here Hop out of the car, bro. No, you're okay. I've already asked him several times. I've already explained to him case law. And I've already explained to him that if you don't, you're going to be a violating, uh, you're going to be you're gonna be charged for 148. Hey, hey can you hey, back so up that's, quick? No, no, hear me Let out. me talk to him. Let me Do you talk know to him. What is? That, that's resisting. I really don't know my court. laws, but okay, I, I know. I've been here. Hear me out. Hear me out, dude. Okay, I don't know why you're so angry right now and hesitant to just step out of the car when it's just a simple command, dude. That's well, it. Because I'm getting out the car for no reason and you guys are questioning right, me. Right, right, right. But we want you to step out here for a second because we're conducting an investigation. So please just comply with us. And All right. Just, just, can you guys... Hey, Jason, is it, you want me to hop out? All right, see? Well, stay in the car. He's not, he's not, it's not up to Jason. He, he's, he's telling me stay in the car. But I don't care what he's saying. Out. You're making it's a bigger scene than what it is, man. Just come on out. What's his name? Jason? Yeah. Oh, his name is Jason. His name? I'm pretty sure his name is Victor, but I'm not sure. He's not Victor, giving me can you name. just step out for me, dude? He told me no, so I'm not happy now unless dude, he tells me to. I don't feel here. safe. Listen, I don't feel safe with you in the car. You, my hands are right here. That's you see point. both of my hands right here. All right, hang tight. Well, actually, now I need your name because I'm going to be, I'm going to cite you out for 148. Resisting, obstructing arrest. We're not rescued. Uh, a, a, a lawful order by a police officer. What's your name? Now I need your name because now I'm going to cite you out for 148. You're going to sign me out? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take you to court. You know, Victor. It's Victor. All right, Victor, come on up. Why are you, why are you guys coming in? Watch out. What are you guys... What? This is all on recording, officer. I'm recording you too, dude. So I make a big deal about it. Yeah, because look how you guys are coming up to me and then you guys want me out of the car. Come on now. Do you have any ID on you, Victor? No, I'm under 18. I'm a teenage boy. Victor, you stay on CMAC, right? Huh? You stay on CMAC? Nah. No? Nope. Okay, so what's your address? Because I'm going to need it. I don't know it. Huh? I plead the fifth now. I'm not. You know, in answer to 
answer questions. I'm not going to be answer, with you. I answer any question I you want. To see her, I just, I just, oh, no, I, I don't yeah. identify her. Yep, yep. Oh, man, the green, so, the green screen is... Uh, this is a government facility. Well, yeah. An uh, American government facility. Right, right. Do you have a purpose? For filming this facility. Right now, it's my own personal use. Okay. I will be formulating a story. I don't know if it's okay. going to be a worthwhile okay. story or not. Herbert R. Temple. Huh. How you doing, sir? I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know ranks with. Uh, so what's going on? Huh? I'm just taking pictures. He doesn't seem to like it. This is a military installation. You can't yeah. do that. Oh, I can't do it from on post or on, oh, what do you call it, concern post. Our security. Pardon? You're taking the pictures of our security. Oh, that's that's okay. Oops, and really, the security is not the target, so it's, it's that beautiful uh, flower bed. Do you have another pair of glasses other than the ones that are recording right now? No, just the ones that are recording right now. You're very observant, Sergeant. You're, you're infantry. No, you're MP. I bet you used to be infantry. How are you doing, sir? How can we help you? Uh, They've offered all kinds of help. Okay. Uh, I don't need any help. Okay, so okay. if you see the sign right over there, it says warning restricted area. There's a sign yeah. right there that says prohibited camera use and everything. I, I, I won't use. take any cameras past that point. Past that point? No, I you promise. Can't, you can't take pictures at this point. Oh. It's stating right there on yes, the sign. Yes, you can. It's stating right there on the sign. Sir. Maybe the colonel can explain it. No, okay, I guess the colonel doesn't get involved. No, uh, this is public. Sure. Uh, the, this public ground is in the United States. Absolutely. It's covered by the United States Constitution. Uh, the First Amendment uh, for this kind of thing has been ruled many times by the Supreme Court. As long as I'm in public, if I can see it from public, I can take the pictures from public. So, can I ask you what your, re can I ask you what your reasoning is to take pictures of our main gate? I'm just, I'm just doing a, a story for my personal use, matters of public interest. Okay. How you doing, sir? Hey. What can we help you with? <laughs> So many people ask me that. I really don't need any help. Unless somebody wants to get me a bacon double cheeseburger. Do you so have a defect in there? Are, are you re recording? Or? Yeah, I am. Re right now, this isn't recording. This is and this is. Uh, but at the moment, this is not. But I have been recording with this. And you're recording military installations? Or just this installation? I'm Right now, this is the only one I can see for now. Right now, as I stand here on this public ground, I, understand. I can I understand. only record what I see from this public ground, including this... National Guard Readiness Center. And may I ask uh, <laughs> the reason for it, or? Oh, it's just personal use right now. It might develop into a story. I don't know. Okay. We have an issue with you recording checkpoints, that type of stuff like oh, that. Oh, you really shouldn't. Yeah. No, we really should, because it's it's for the safety, not only for our service members, but all. Oh. Our the devices I'm using, this body cam, these goggles cam, and this uh, handheld cam, they're all passive. They receive light. They don't transmit anything. They don't projectile bullets or lasers. or. I, I, it's I, just receiving. No, no one's at any kind of risk. Hey, hey, may I ask your name? Or can uh, I see your ID? You can refer to me as a good citizen. I, I don't want to show you my ID. If I come on base, I'll show my ID to get on base, but I, I really have no intention of going on base. All right, you contact Orange, you contact Orange County? We contact Orange County on public property. If yeah. they want to deal with it, they can deal with it. So. Yes. Uh, as long as he's out here on the sidewalks, yeah, not exactly. around government property, he has the right to do all that. Exactly. Okay? Uh, just just let him go. Uh, you may contact if they come out here and uh, look at something different. They so something tells me you knew that before you came out. I did. I mean, this, this Why do you got to try? <laughs> this is not the first time. Get my good side. And this is common practice. Huh? We, got, we have to question anything that's taking pictures on our installation or anything. Make sure you're not a threat to our organization. It's it's okay to question, as long as you, you know, obey the law. Yep. We're good. Cool. Yep. All right. You're all dismissed. Is anyone going to get me a bacon double cheeseburger? All four of you asked if you could help me. And once again, this shows that the police is not our friend. I mean, it's stupid, but it seems that these tyrant pigs only became cops so that they themselves could break the law. To think that a parent that trusts the police is going to have cops going behind their backs to try and violate their son's right just to find something to give them trouble, this says a lot of our corrupt police and what they think their job is, and that they really love to earn the hate. 
This is why it is important for you to know your rights and help to bring awareness to the rest of the public. So don't forget to support the channel by subscribing, like the video and leave a comment to keep the conversation going. And remember, always record the police.